What's going on everybody? Stock Jock here. Finished the day up $16,761. Finished the morning up after the first hour $10,069. So it was a good morning. However, that's after I lost about 20 grand. Insane morning. Down super, super, super red. 20 grand. I don't rarely go down that much, but climbing out of that hole was crazy. Had a lot to do with the meme stocks and just the big movers of today. Um, but yeah, don't like doing that. That's a 30K swing from down 20K to up 10K in an hour. Ugh, don't like doing that. Gives me freaking gray hair. So before we get into the charts and going over all of those trades, there's probably a lot. I haven't even looked at it yet. First and foremost, I want to make it aware to all of you that Benzinga Pro my news source, and I have a dedicated video on how I use Benzinga to trade breaking news during the day. I'll link that above, and I'll put it below that video. It's a really good good video. Check it out. They're running a special, $9.97 for one month trial. Usually that costs $177. It is the, by far my favorite tool in my trading repertoire. I have to have it. I feel naked when I don't have someone yelling breaking news in my ear check it out link for that is down below it'll bring it to the page try it out for a month it's 10 bucks i mean it's absolutely worth you trying that out i can't stress that yes i'm affiliate yes i get a cut if you sign up have i been talking about this ever since i got it yes have i been a partner with them forever no this is only a new development I'm, I'm, I tell people about it because I want them to use it and make money. I make crap tons of money on it every day almost. Not crap tons every day, but I definitely throughout the year. Uh, the one, one video that I have where I actually was recording when the live news, went, live news went off, I made 10K in like 15 seconds. It was insane. That's not typical, but that's the potential. Check it out. Enough. I'm done shilling. Let's get into the charts. One other thing I forgot to mention is you probably haven't seen my videos upload recently. There's a good reason for that. Normally I do these video reviews at night and there's no problem. I put it out. I start them around 10 o'clock at night and I get finished up in about an hour. However, there's this thing called the NHL playoffs that I'm kind of a fan of. My Tampa Bay Lightning are in it right now. So my time at night has been eaten up and videos will probably be slow until the playoffs are over but if you really want to watch me trade or have questions or anything like that come join us live on twitch every day monday through friday link for that is down below all right so this one is kind of like an opening range breakout genie hot 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 we play it I, i've been playing this past two trading days three trading days because of the breakout on the daily chart we're getting continuation now and i was looking for it today however it gapped up the gap up no it gap down sorry gap down today and i thought oh maybe it's just gonna go fill this gap down here on the daily chart and uh, that's what i was looking for um however it did not do that so we had a bit of an opening range here to start off with here's a low here's a high and i was just gonna play whatever which way it broke first had an opportunity to start going it didn't go it started to come back down broke low a day i went short right there Sure enough, as soon as it broke low day, it bounced. <laughs> so not wanting to go down, I stopped out right as you start going candle over candle. Right there, this was a, this was the start. This was, I think I went 0 for 4 on my first trades. This one right here, this GME, this was a, a swing from the day from yesterday. I ended up selling for like a five or $6,000 loss because of this freaking gap down. With this gap down like $13 or something like that. It's just so stupid. So it gaps down 13 bucks. Doesn't continue down. So I'm down like five or six thousand. I think it's six thousand dollars. I just sell that to get rid of it. So on these calls, uh, I end it, I get in at 706 and 666, 40 contracts total. First exit, I lose 60 cents on basically. So that's like a hundred or one thousand two hundred bucks. And the second lot, I lose another 60 cents on, so another $1,200. So 
about a $2,400, $2,500 loser on my first trade. Break down now. And the freaking bounce. Wow. Well, I thought that would go a little bit more. 225, or yeah, 225.55 is low. I'm really looking forward to getting into this gap here. But I thought it would have done better than that here. The buyer step in. Okay. Okay. All right, so this next one is on, on this MOXC. This thing shot out of a cannon, went from $20 to 24 in like 12 minutes or 10 minutes here. Finally getting a pullback. So you go pop, 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 pullback candle. On this candle, it started to get up into this area and I kind of jumped in here anticipating that it would go candle over candle. And when it kind of just started to, so I got, I went long at 23.45, 23.45, 4,000 shares. It starts to reject the 50 cent level, meaning it's not going to go candle over candle when I thought it did. And that's when I jump out because, you know, I'm getting in to anticipate something and it doesn't do any, it doesn't go when I thought it was going to go. Cut it loose, move on. All right, so that last trade that I just took on MOXC, that turned out to be like a, another $1,200 loser. So we're just piling them in there. So was that five or $6,000 loser, $2,400 loser, let's say like $8,500. And this is, that was, last one was another $1,200 loser. So that's like $9,700. $9, so we're about 10 k in the red at this point in the day. And then I just slapped this trade right on top of that one. So again, here's GME, back to it, failed to break down, popped up, failed the one minute play here, so it's starting to move back down, put in this low, come back up, big spike down, after like four minutes up, one candle under candle shot this thing right back down this level. I'm like, okay, here we go. If we break this little peak right here, we're gonna come down the lower day, and then we're gonna get into this gap fill down below here. It's gonna get, it's just gonna start dumping. And as the, this candle, opens up, I think it's gonna break it, and I go short with puts. So I go 640, 643, 40 contracts, right? And as soon as I get in, it, it bounces right off of it, and it just keeps going up and just going up. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's actually gonna bounce. I'm thinking left shoulder head, right shoulder. I mean, this one minute chart, whatever, but it just looks so bad, especially since it just took four minutes to get up here and then and literally in 10 seconds, this thing dropped from three or, you know, 233 to 229. It was insane drop. I'm like, okay, no, who's buying this? No one is. I'm not. Surely not. We're going to short this and then we're going to send it to the pits of hell. No, uh, it bounced. And it not only bounced, it turned into a double top or I'm sorry, double bottom reversal and started to go freaking to the moon from there. And I just happened to hit the absolute worst entry on this. So I get short, it bounces up, I can't believe it. And when I had levels drawn like this as well, so I'm like, okay, well, those are the levels, whichever one breaks first, this thing's gonna go. And sure enough, this one looks like it's about to break to the top side, I exit, and I lose about just over 4,000 bucks on that. So that puts me down 14K on the day at this point. That's that's pretty bearish looking now. That's gonna bounce off the freaking level. Are you kidding me?
down, go down. How do I? Oh for four. Oh for freaking four right now. Oh, come on! So this next trade's on Tesla. So I needed a win at this point, pretty bad after going for oh for four. So down down fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars, whatever the math is. I've been rounding up and down. So. This is what I'm looking for on Tesla. Again, looking for continuation out of this consolidation on the 200 day moving average, flipping back up here. Um, crosses some big levels yesterday on the daily chart. Looking for any kind of move out of this. It's been kind of hot recently, so I want to play it. If, it. if it gives me something, I want to play it. And sure enough, it kind of uh, put in this peak and then obviously high day peak. And had this diagonal I just created with these two points, you know, two point diagonal and a bit of a channel here. So it pops up and breaks out of the channel. And what I like to see with, you know, channel breakouts or diagonal trend line breakouts is a horizontal break for confirmation as well. So as the price was coming up through here, I'm like, well, it's not gonna be any pullback yet. Um, maybe I could scalp this break. And, and if this is a significant level, maybe it'll shoot up through this, go high a day, and I could take profit, like kind of like this candle did here. But anyway, as it's approaching this this horizontal, I go along looking for the break and seeing. I I'm expecting one of two things: that it rejects this level and doesn't break it and curls back down, or breaks it and, and runs because it's like a domino. It breaks this level, then it'll break this level. Uh, it did break this one. It did not run. So I exited pretty quickly. I needed a win. I didn't care how big or small it was. So I get in and uh, these are contracts. I took the 620 calls. Um, I got in at 975, 966, 20 contracts each. Exited the first lot, 990, second lot, 987. So a, a, a small win, but hey, I needed a win. I got to win. All right. So this next trade was a sympathy to AMC. AMC, obviously, the big mover today went from freaking $18 to 30 bucks on, on quite, quite a bit of a short squeeze. So at, at this point in the day, though, it, you know, it also gapped down. And it was contesting with yesterday's high, a $20 level. So... When it started to break that and really get going, I f immediately flipped over to GME and I just went long. I didn't even know where the chart was. I had it over to the side. I might have looked at it, uh, but I was really wanting to go long GME um, as that was breaking out. Let's see what time it was nine fifty eight. So right through here, I go long. And let me clear the extended hour stuff because it doesn't matter at this point. Oh. Yeah, okay, here we go. Better, 
better view. So right in through here is where you know we've we've broken we've broken this level. We're pushing we're pushing up. We're filling this gap right. Uh, yesterday's close right here, and AMC is pushing up. Let me get rid of all this stupid stuff. It's just annoying to look at. AMC is pushing up through big levels. Um, and I'm like, okay, GME is going to go as well. Simply, it's it's lagging behind. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump into it. I do. I, I jump in. Uh, I take the 240 calls. Get in at 1307 and 1282. 40 contracts. And sure enough, bounces up right up to this level. I was really hoping. I knew AMC was going to get a pullback. And when I mean pullback, just a one minute pullback before maybe continuation. Um, and I was just kind of hoping that GME would break this level before that. It didn't. Took two swipes at it. When I saw AMC pull back here, and you can kind of see this here. Um, 10 o'clock, where are you? So AMC right here, oops, sorry, right here. Gets that smooth up and then goes into pullback mode for a little bit. Uh, that's where I start taking my profit on GME. Cause I'm like, okay, well, I don't really want to hold, I, I don't know if this move is going to hold up or not. You know, it's not proven itself yet. so. We're at a resistance level here on GME. I think it makes a big move if it breaks it. But if the leader of the pack, if, if I'm playing sympathy to AMC, so AMC is the leader of the pack, and GME, the one I'm playing, is a sympathy. If the leader takes a dip, more likely or not, the, the sympathy play is going to take a dip as well. And when the leader takes off, the sympathy takes off. So at this point in time, the leader was taking a, a, a dip. I just wanted to lock in the profit. Reassess the situation. If it gets going again, breaks this level, I certainly go long. I probably did. Yes, I. Okay. I, I, I. Okay. We'll just go over the next trade. I can kind of see what I did already. But let's finish this one up. I closed it out here as we were pulling back. Um, thirteen ninety eight. So just under a two thousand dollar win on the first lot and thirteen fifty six. So. What is that math is fun. So $1,400 ish winner on that second lot there. So a good winner overall. Next trade here, and I'll just run them back to back so you won't miss anything. Jimmy does a one minute play, breaks this level, doesn't go anywhere. I probably lost money on this trade. I assume I got in and out, yep. So 1433, 1445, uh, looking for this one minute play to break this horizontal. Right, it doesn't. It comes back down on the failed move when it doesn't break out. When I thought I'd do, I got to I got to hang it up. This was a loser. So this got in at fourteen forty average. I exited thirteen twenty average. So over a four thousand dollar loser right there. Gave it right back. Let's see. Then I played GME again. Let's go over this one. This is the one that I knock out of the park, and it changed the changed my morning. Okay. So this one, yeah, I think is probably on this break here. Actually, I can almost guarantee it. Yep, 10.04. Okay, so we get the failed break. Here we go candle under candle, and it doesn't break down, especially after a failed breakout here. <coughs> Excuse me. This failed breakout, the candle under candle usually will lead this down and maybe break that guy, and it'll, it'll dump. That didn't happen. Instead, it held the 9 EMA and retested this area again. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go long because if we break this level, we have an opportunity to go nutty just like freaking um, AMC is gone. So uh, I get in on, on the move back up through this, this level, right? I get in 40 contracts, 1325, 1313, pretty good fills. Um, and it, it breaks that level and it jumps freaking five, seven dollars in two minutes. Exactly what I was, I was looking for. So I get the break right here. I sell half at fifteen sixty. So like a five thousand dollar winner on that first lot. Really not really, 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 really nice. Then it continues up. I'm thinking two fifty is probably gonna be pretty hard resistance. If I get near that, I'm gonna t I'm gonna start scaling out. So I do. I sell another uh, ten lot at eighteen twenty-five. So that's a five. 
that's a five thousand dollar winner by itself um, off of that ten lot, and then I sell the other, and I start scaling out some more. Let's see, um, still within this candle, it doesn't break the the, the two fifty. Starts to come back down, and I just scale out the rest there. Ten sixty eight, or sorry, eighteen sixty eight, eighteen sixty for another fifty five hundred dollars. So massive win, massive, massive win. Super stoked about that one. And I'm just going to go ahead and run all those three together right now. Got to think GME follows, right? Get up over this 242. Let's look at some KOSS. Yeah. Two forty two. Two forty two fifty breaks. We might have something. Got a couple levels here. AMC's ripping. There you go. Go break some people, AMC. Taking it all off. He's doing a one minute pullback, so just going with it. If it starts breaking through this level, get long again. Oh my gosh. There you go. AMC failed one minute. That could be doom here. Gotta cut it. Failed one minute here, failed one minute over there. Getting a starter. Yep. Jimmy's going. I mean, uh, AMC's going, so I'm going to get in GME. Looking for this break here. Kind of see it side by side. This one just went. I'm assuming this one will go. Wow. AMC's really opening up there. 50. All right, we broke that level. Next one up here. 44, broke it, got it. Next level. Up here, up here, here. 11 freaking thousand dollars, gotta take half off. I realize it was up that much. Holy piss, okay. Chat rooms. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday size two forty eight fifty. Right at it. Oh, well, we kind of broke it by two pennies. Let's see if we can actually get over it. Okay. Selling ten more.
Am I green yet? I'm still red! Oh my gosh! Still red on the day. All out. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, so I, I forgot to mention on that last clip, this is not the screen that I had up. I had my other screen up. That's why you didn't get to see the entries and exits. Forgot to switch it over while I was live streaming. But you got to see how I played the sympathy side by side. On the left side, you had AMC, which was kind of being the leader, and then you had GME following 5, 10, 20 seconds after AMC would make its move. So that's how I play those sympathies. I put, I put them side by side, and I just watch them. So anyway, going back to GME now, big win. At this point, I'm down $300 in the day. That's when you hear me say I'm still running the day. I don't know. I'm able to, I'm able to edit it out. I'm, at this point, I'm break even on the day now. That last trade, humongous winner. And I'm only break even. Well, I'm still technically red. Down 300 bucks. But that changes right here. All right. So got the big breakout. Pullback candle over candle fail. Right? It does. It fails. Pull back again. Back to the nine. And then goes. This is what I call the W. W play. Where is my doodle? Candle over candle fail to move. Back down to support. And then bounces and goes. Oops. That is the W. So the entry on the W play is right when that middle peak gets broken. That's where I entered in on this candle here. I took calls, uh, took the 250 calls, got in at 12.75, 12.90, 40 calls total. Pops up. What I'm looking for is a is a break of the high of the run. I got that on this candle. And it didn't really explode through 250. That's kind of what I was looking for. It didn't even get up to it. Didn't do anything. It broke this guy by like, what? 10 cents? Didn't take off. When I saw that, I, was, I immediately got out. Because I'm looking for a big move through here. It didn't do it. As you can kind of see, it kind of sold off for a while. Um, but I exited when I saw that. 1440. So just... Just under, what is that, like 15, uh, I don't know, no, wait. It's like three grand on that, on that win. Uh, about 1,100 on this lot, and then like 500, 600 bucks on that lot. So a nice win. Yep, AMC is going, I'm going long GME again for this 247.40 break. And then maybe a high day push. Fifty. Wow, they're holding it down. AMC is ripping. This has got to go. There it is. Here we go, high day. 249.40 and then 50. Fell in half because a little slow. Oh, AMC's going. Here we go. Here we go. AMC to the freaking moon. Go, AMC. All right, 250. If we clear 250, freaking moonshot time. I can't believe it didn't do it here. 249 and then 250. Broke it. High day. Bro, ooh, tapped it. Watch name. See, it's still going. Did it break high day? It did break high day. Barely. Oh, right back up. Things all over the place. Two 
Sell a little bit more. It comes down, it comes down. Alright, sell the rest. Right now, baby, huh? Yeah, yeah, we are. So, this trade, I wanted to give it a shot. I didn't actually think it was going to work, but I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, you know, this one, this play didn't really work out well, and it really could, should have. I was like, man, maybe just need to retest the nine, and then I'm going to play the one minute candle over candle, and then maybe it'll come up here. If it doesn't, I need to exit quick because it probably is going to reverse, which it did for a little bit before testing it. So, anyway, I go long for the candle over candle. Small position here. This is where we're at. Oh, shoot. That messed everything up. Sure did. Okay, we're over here. Anyway, this, this is where we're looking. Right here. Candle over candle, I go long, thinking, okay, maybe I just need a little extra time. AMC is still, AMC is still hot at this time, moment. Um, I know the screen that you're seeing only shows me looking at Jimmy, but I'm still looking at that chart over to my side that has AMC and GME right next to it. When AMC looks like it's going to go to the moon, I'm bullish on GME and I'm trying to go long. When AMC is starting to tank, big pullback or something, I'm out of GME. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking for here. It just didn't work out. Failed one minute move. Goes candle under candle. That's where I stop out. This was, even though it was a uh, real quick in and out, it was a $2,000 $2, loser. So... This is how fast these are. It's super dangerous. And I know I'm playing options here, and that's really the only way I, I can play GME just because the price is so crazy on this thing right now. Uh, but if you don't know what you're doing, do not trade this. Or don't trade options on this because it will blow you up. I mean, this was a... This was a... Just under a 30-second hold, and I lost two grand. So it can go quick. There it goes. AMC's pushing up. Hoping that Jimmy go to see AMC starting to go here. Looking for Jimmy to go. I hope it doesn't decouple itself. I'm only taking half size because I'm not really a huge fan of what I'm seeing here. But maybe AMC can push it. 245 break to the downside, it will be out. Yeah, I'm going out. So another one here that didn't work out. Um, uh, we have this peak right here. So we were starting to come back up to this level. I'm like, okay, well, this was a failed, this was a ceiling before. If we come back up and break that ceiling, maybe we get a shot at high a day, right? And maybe if that breaks, we have a shot at 250 and then maybe a pop over 250. So we started to come back up through here and you'll hear me talk about AMC. Cause that is the leader of the pack. I want to be playing uh, what AMC is doing. So anyway, as it's coming back through here, I go long. These are the contracts. Uh, 1270 and 1226. Jeez. The range on this. Um, and as I go long, we're coming up to try to break this level. AMC rejects the move as well. So this is the white candle 1018. Let's go over to AMC, kind of see what was going on over there. So right here, you can kind of see it. AMC, pop, pull back, pull back, candle over candle, failed move. The W right here breaks that level, doesn't go high of the run, big pullback. When I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm out. I'm out of GME. I'm out. So that's what I saw because that was a pretty big rejection. It did end up coming down to the 21 before going, but that's not the trade that I was in right there. That The trade I was in right there. I had everything to do with that rejection. When I saw that rejection, I was like, well, shoot, if that's going to reject, surely GME is going to reject. And it did. Pulled back a lot before it eventually went. Um, I got in, like I said, and, and out. This ended up being a, let's see, this is about a $500 loser, and this was about a $1,000 loser. So $1,500 loser. Yep, going for it. AMC is going for it. 247. Break, you bastard. 
How does he not go? Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm out. AMC rejected that move, so I'm out. Yep, and it's reversing. Good call. Good call. It might have hurt a lot. But it, it rejected it. And I cannot believe that didn't break. Son of a gun. All right, so this trade, this is the break that I finally got. Uh, and everything that we just talked about, breaking this level, breaking high a day, breaking to and break 250. Yeah, it did break 250. I finally got all that. So the thing that sparked this move, though, was, again, AMC. Uh, AMC started going to the moon, being the leader of the pack, right? Right through here. So AMC, again, failed this move, pulled back, and then it took off and went into orbit, right? So when I'm seeing this, Break high a day, getting some clearance, starting to take off, really starting to move. I mean, this is like a freaking 60 cent move for AMC. It's huge. So when I start seeing that, it kind of gives me confirmation. You know, I go long on GME as I see AMC creep back up towards this high day break. And then we get the break, we get the big moves, and then I get excited that GME could break 250. That was my goal in GME. So back to GME. All right, we had some levels here that coincided with the move. We have this ceiling that it's rejected twice. You break it. I'm looking for a pop. We got that. Break of the high of the day. Break of the 250 level. That's what I was looking for. So with all that said, I enter in. Uh, let's see. 1023 candle. So I entered in right here as we're curling back up. And I see AMC curling back up. I'm like, okay, maybe it's going to go this time. That was right, thank goodness, because I didn't want to be red again. Uh, I enter in 11.14, um, and then, uh, uh, let's see, 11.14, 11.48. So 40 contracts, call it 11.20 average, 11.25, whatever. Get the break, get the break, and I take half. If you watch my PNL up here while I'm live on the trade, I'm up like 12 grand at one point. It was insane. So I'm like, oh, this is stupid. I got to take half off the table. I got to lock in 6K. It turned out not to, eh, just to be under, just under 6K on the win when I hit the market order. So it was like 5,000, call it 800 bucks, whatever. It was just a monster win. Like I'm, st I'm stupid if I don't lock it in, right? So I sell half. Then I got get the break of 250 with AMC move, pushing up as well. GME followed, broke that 250 level. I thought... You know, there's a chance that it could just take off, but more than likely break and, and sell off as people take profit. That's what happened. Um, I, when I see that, that it broke and starts coming back down, I start selling the rest. I sold at 1326 for about a $2,000 win, and then 13 for a uh, $1,500 win. So big, 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 big win there. AMC is going for it again. You gonna go? Two forty seven is the level. I'll stop out on this. Oof. Come on, AMC, go for it.
Five minute, two forty seven. This would be a great five minute play here. AMC trying. There we go, two forty seven. Hitting it. AMC broke. Let's go, Jimmy. Yes. Yes. 247. So slow, though. Two forty eight. G AMC is going to the moon. Come on, Jimmy. AMC is going freaking in the end. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lift off. Apes want to go to the moon too. Selling half. Boom! All out. Oop, no, I'm not. He traded and let me sell. Now I'm all out. Wow, that second sell was horrible. First hours in the bag, 10,069. After being down 20 freaking K.